Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. He cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. If you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed from the grappling game. He's able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is free. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground and avoid it at all costs. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge of reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. Oh, it looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And they separate. Bisping's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Buffer gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Liver kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. 
visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Round two next. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight idea. Nice leg kick there by Bisping. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Taken down by Buffer. Back to the feet now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good stick. Big body kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so they can land that beautiful left hand. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus space in his opponent. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Bisbee. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Buffer gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Here. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in so Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level both fighters get up now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's going to attack armbar here. And he's out. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. 
Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And he's out. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. His big lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Visibly limping here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good punch, land. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice. Good combination there by Buff. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out the space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Checks that leg kick. Nice. Take more he's likely he would not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. I mean, look at him. Big kick in this fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, Bruce, it's time! Up All right, so a close fight. That's certainly the way we saw it, but ultimately he gets his hand raised by majority decision.